Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. Today we're looking at this 67 plate BMW 435 X-Drive Grand Coupe. This is the M Sport um, edition with the auto gearbox, the eight speed ZF gearbox. This car's covered 21,398 miles with full BMW service history. It's a one owner car finished in Snapper Rocks Blue, which is a really vibrant color. Might be worth looking the color up on Google, which will give you a better idea. The camera tends to uh, give a slightly different hue to the color. We've got the LED lights down at the front here. We've got front and rear parking sensors with the display, black gloss front grille, which we've put in. So a nice new grille on the front there. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished. A lot of effort's gone into bringing this car up really nicely. If I come in and show you the bonnet, you'll see the paintwork is exceptionally clean. I can't see any chips. I'm just, there's a very tiny little chip just there, which has been touched in. Just come across the front for you. I'm gonna point out anything that I do see on the cars and be as transparent as possible. So the rest of the bonnet, lovely and clean. And the windscreen as well. There's no chips or anything in the windscreen. Just come out and have a, a better look around the car from a bit of distance and then we're coming close again. So this is the Grand Coupe. And like I say, this is a very practical car. You've got uh, a huge boot, which we'll take a look at in a minute. We've got the 704M 19 inch alloy wheels. We've got the M Sport brakes. It's got the plus package on this car. So you get the sun protection glass as well. I'll just steady the uh, camera. There we go. And uh, also this car's an, an X drive, so it's four wheel drive. It's not permanent four wheel drive. So it engages four wheel drive when you uh, put the car under load. So when you accelerate hard or when the traction comes in on a slippery surface, it will also engage four wheel drive. So you get the best of both worlds. So it's better to have it disengaged for economy. And then basically when it engages, obviously you get all the traction that you need. All of the uh, headlights and rear lights have all been machine polished as well. So the lenses are beautiful and clear. Just come around and show you the wheels on this side. We've just checked all the service items on the car and we think we're gonna be changing the front pads on this car. All of the other service items are up to date. It's got a, an MOT till October, but that's gonna be renewed as well. So it'll have a fresh MOT on the car. Come down and show you the rear wheel as well. So the 704Ms are the, the later 19 inch alloys. If you just look down here, it's really, there's no marks on the top of the bumper here or anything. It's really clean. And if we come up onto the boot lid, look, just nothing. Really lovely condition. And they've even done a lovely job of polishing up the chrome tailpipes. Come in, look down the side of the car there. But a beautiful colour. Like I say, you probably need to go online and Google this colour. If I come over here, you'll see another one. And there's an estral blue one in the corner there. So that just shows the two different colours. So we'll come back, take a look inside the car. Well, just before we do, just looking up onto the roof. No bird dropping stains, there's no ding dents, no scratches. All of the black gloss trims have been also machine polished, so they're scratch free. So when we take a look inside, we've got the black Dakota leather with the white stitching, which is an option. We've got the pearl chrome trim along the top, the Harman Kardon sound system. If we come down low, We've got uh, puddle lights underneath, all of the door seal around here is in beautiful condition. We've got electric seats with uh, electric bolster, so the little rocker button there, 
blows up the bolster here and here. If we look at that seat, you'll see the piping as well is in white to match the stitching. Additional speaker up on the top there for the Harman Kardon sound system. All lovely and clean. All the carpets are lovely and clean. We'll come back to the front of the car in a second. Take a look in the back door. So again, the door card, all in lovely condition. See the Harman Kardon speakers there. Come right down, look how clean it is all under here. And again, no scratches or no seat belts have been jammed in this side, just a bit of reflection there, as you can see. And then inside the rear, all of the Dakota leather in lovely condition, got drop down armrests. These seats do drop down as well to give you a much bigger boot space. So let's take a look in the boot. So the boot, uh, the tailgate, I say, is uh, electric. You can operate it from the key fob or from the button um, just here or the handle. All of the uh, carpets in the boot are in really nice condition, as are the uh, parcel shelf, etc. And obviously, we've got one at the top here which you can drop down as well. So both of those come out. If we take a look underneath, the car's running on run flats. They're a matching set of Bridgestones. They've got at least five, five and a half mil all round. So we can just press this button and drop it down. Dan's just started the car for me. Got the LED lights at the back as well. Thank you, Dan. move around let's bring you in around the filler cap here all nice and clean no scratches or anything all the lights are, are in lovely condition there's no damage on the lights take a look in the back so this is the driver's side rear door card no damage on there either bring you down low again you can see how clean it is all round and there's no scratches on this side either. It's a really lovely clean car. No marks that I can see on the back seats, uh, sorry, on the front seats at the back. And again, all the leather. So you've got the armrest there you can drop down. It's a 60-40 split in the back as well. Just come out a little bit. child locks etc now if I, I don't know if these are going to be on but there are little led lights just under here i'll take a photograph for the pictures on there so drive door card let's just get a better focus if we can there we go so this door card is also in lovely condition let's see all down here door shut itself as well and you see we've got memory seat on the driver's side so two memories there I think it also does the wing mirrors as well we've got the folding electric anti-dazzle mirrors on this as well so just press to the button they fold in now they can also fold in when you press and lock the car if you hold the button down it will uh, fold the, the mirrors in as well bolster of the seat there's no wear on there sorry it's a bit hard doing this one-handed while I'm holding a paperwork with the spec etc auto lights auto wipers we've got voice activation cruise control and there's the set of gearbox so we're just going to jump in okay 
So as you'll notice, we've got uh, the digital display on this car. So we just go to the mileage. There we go, 21398. So this has got the digital cockpit. We've also got speed limiter in here. So just uh, in here, this uh, is showing blank because we're off the road, but when you're traveling on the road, this will give you the uh, speed limit of the road that you're driving on. Quite handy if you've got uh, maybe a police officer behind you and you're not sure what the speed limit is on the road. Although we should know, shouldn't we, I guess. So, if I come down here to show you the different driving modes, this rocker button here, when we go into economy, we're in comfort at the moment. Uh, probably worth pointing out also, the mode button here brings up this display here. AM music collection is an 80 gig hard drive. And then we can go into the DAB stations as well and flick through those with the rocker button and then press the rocker button to engage a station. If we press the phone button, when your phone's connected, you can dial out from here the previous calls. So if we put the car into eco mode, you'll see that the uh, display changes and uh, it will show you just how well the car's performing in the economy mode. We flick just past the comfort into sport this gives you a more sort of dynamic, sporty look. You've got the speedo over on the left, and if I pop it into gear on the right, you'll see we can go into sport on the auto box. If I pull one of the paddles on here, it goes into manual mode. Let's say you've got eight speed gearbox. What you'll find is if you're in a sport mode, when you use the paddles, it will stay in sport. If you want it back in auto, just flip from the left to the right and that will put it back into auto if you want it back into auto automatic just flip it back over to the left okay so we've got the touchscreen navigation up here and you can move all of these around and put them in whichever order you want i'll use the eye control so my hand's not in the way which is down here you can write on the top of this wheel uh, acts like a joystick left and right turn press to enter etc so we'll go back into map i think i've just put it into split screen so on the split screen you've got different windows that you can have showing on the right hand side your uh, media etc trip computer there we go we flip back to the top press down we're back into auto on the left hand side we've got where you enter your destination etc and uh, all the sub menus down here traffic information this is where you can change the map view so the direction of travel so if we put it into perspective looking forward we can also use these buttons down here if you float your finger across you'll see at the top so if we memorize this window you can memorize windows telephone numbers and a few, uh, a few other things. Um, not all of the windows save, but enough that uh, make a great shortcut. So if we go back into map views, we could have direction of travel looking straight down, which is a lot easier in a built up area. We can memorize that on number seven. So rather than having to go back into these uh, shortcuts here, you can just press number seven or eight. So we'll flip that back to there. And uh, I'll just show you very quickly if you're entering a destination, nice and easy. Just flip into country, United Kingdom, and then basically you can either use the voice control by pressing down Please and say. talking. If we come back, we can just use our finger on the top of the wheel to write P. and put oh. in the uh, address, etc. So we'll come out of there. So your media in here, you've got your DAB stations, your save stations, your FMAM, music collection, that's your 80 gig hard drive, CDs and DVDs. It won't show you a DVD obviously when you're driving, but if you're stationary, you can watch something. And uh, this is where you can adjust your 
online entertainment, the Logic 7 Harman Kardon surround sound, graphic equaliser over on the left here. I'll come out of there. If we come into, actually we've got connective drive. So connective drive, um, this is something you can subscribe to. And down here it will show you um, like weather radar and BBC News, etc. A few apps um, in there. Um, if we go into my vehicle, this is where you've got all your settings for the car. You just flip across and you can go into all of these down here. And then you've got the iDrive settings and you can see on the left, change your displays, your units, the touchpad. If we come down to vehicle uh, status, this is where you'll see all the service history. If you click into the top, this will show the PDI, so the pre-delivery inspection, and this is the first service. So these are showing as amber at the moment. As you know, there was a lockdown last year, so basically a lot of the cars were at that time were done a little bit late. I'm going to see if we can reset the amber um, exclamation mark in there when it goes for the brake pads, but that's the only reason it's showing amber because it's just gone over on time, not mileage. So uh, as you can see, look, seven months, that was because of the lockdown. So that was its oil and filter change. And then this one was the brake fluid change as well. And you can see again, it was just over by a couple of months, but that's just because of the lockdown. So that's why it's showing amber. But like I say, we'll try and get that reset. So front pads, they're saying it's 3,200 miles. So that's why we're gonna change the front pads. Um, that's your MOT, which we're gonna do as well. We've still got 14,000 miles or February next year remaining on the oil service. Vehicle check, 14,000 miles. Rear pads, 24,000 miles. And the brake fluid's just been done uh, in October, so that's not due till 2022. There every two years, the brake fluid changes on the car. So we'll come out of there. In fact, I think there's probably as much as you need to know in there. So we've got dual climate control, heated seats, um, USB port in here, 12 volt and uh, cup holders in there. Just under here, there is another 12 volt um, plug. So if you've got an i, uh, sorry, uh, uh, like a an iPad or a laptop or something, you want to charge separately, you can. We've got high beam assist on this stalk here. So the high beam assist uses a camera just up at the front here. And when the high beam assist is active, when you go into a lit up area or oncoming vehicles, the main beam will automatically dip for you. We've got the speed limiter and cruise control just here. We'll just take a look, try and get this in focus again, sorry. All of the, uh, the lever in here, I want to see my arm. Really nice condition. And no scratches on the trim or anything. And the steering wheel. I'm gonna jump out and um, two pulls for the bonnet. Take a look under the bonnet. So this is a six cylinder twin power turbo so it's got two turbos but the twin power bit basically means it's got like twin inlet ports to uh, allow the turbos to spin up more freely and, and quicker so there's no lag now all of this engine bay has been cleaned meticulously we use a lot of wd-40 which is really safe to use just to clean up all under the bonnet around here Cars running, all gleaming. You clean off all the little wax deposits that you get from new that they don't always take off. If you have a look under here, look, just look how nice and shiny it is under here as well. So a lot of time is spent on our cars to make them as nice as they can be. And uh, if you read our reviews, People will um, have commented on how nice the cars are, etc. So that's our 435 X Drive Grand Coupe. 
hope you've enjoyed watching the video and it's been helpful. It's a stunning looking car. Please don't hesitate to give us a call if you have any questions in case I've missed anything in the uh, video. But beautiful looking car. Just take you all the way around one last time. We have all different finance options, a uh, 6.9% APR rate, subject to status obviously. We have extended warranties, paint protection as well, so please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.